crafty cuties today I am going to show you how to use a plastic insert in your December daily that is not a binder style and this is really going to be super simple I just want to show you how to kind of think outside the box and to start off I am going to be documenting a photo of a candle which did not print out very well but our electricity went out during the evening and I have a lot to write about that. And this is just a photo of Alistair and I. We just had a really lazy day. So these were both from the same day. And then I just have some miscellaneous journaling cards that I want to place inside the uh, plastic protector here. And then I did get a card in the mail from a family member and I'm actually just gonna start off by placing it in this glassine bag. Perfect timing for a bag to come up because this photo um, actually fits perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. And then back to our plastic protector here. So I'm thinking what I will do. I don't have a sh for sure plan, guys. I'm going to cut off the edge where the holes are because we're not going to use a binder. So I don't really need this. And I'm just going to be careful not to cut through the part where it, it's fused together. So, if you're curious, this, is, this page right here is a vintage book page. And so, even though we are kind of covering this up, it will be able to flip up like so, and you'll be able to see the page. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper, this is like six inches by one, and I'm going to fold it in half. I just think it'll be easier to adhere a piece of paper that I can staple to the top here and then I can attach the paper to the paper. Okay, so make sure that we know where the top is. Where are you, top? Oh, okay. So I am going to take my scrap piece that I folded in half and I want to, let's see here, staple this on the back here and I'm seriously just making this up as I go so just make sure not to oh, oh my gosh guys wow well that worked man this is uh, having a hard time opening this okay so let's try that again I am not worried about it being super straight. I just want to make sure that I am attaching the plastic to the paper. So. And I'll do the same on this side and then I'm going to attach the paper to the book page with some wet adhesive. Just to make sure I'm going to use a couple staples here. And then we can basically just use it like a regular plastic protector and you can put your pages in it like you'd wish. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. So now I'm going to just use this glue here, place it on the back, and then I'll glue this to the top of the book page and I'm going to let this dry for about five minutes to make sure that it's going to set in place there and if you don't like the staples here you can probably use some permanent adhesive like double-sided tape or something like that so I'm just gonna let this dry now it's time to fill the pockets and I'm going to use a variety of journaling cards embellishments and photos I think this layout just makes a really, really quick layout and that is really why I was excited to figure out how to make it work in my journal. And these are the journaling cards from the Sugar Plum collection by My Mind's Eye. And then I just cut down the photos that I'm using um, to 3 inches by 4 inches, I think. This is a Project Life um, plastic insert as well. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning. So I'm just going to top this photo off with a little bit of washi tape because there was a white area on the top and bottom. So good time to use your washi tape. And even if it didn't have that white part, I think that adding washi to 
your pictures adds a lot if you're not going to do a bunch to you know spruce it up and so then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that in here and I don't think I show you guys that I do end up adding project life cards to the backs of everything as well because I did intend for me to kind of flip up and be able to read what each photo is showing so you don't see me oh yeah you can see me doing that right here hello I'm doing a voiceover because I didn't talk while I was recording this but that completes this layout it was super quick and really really fun so I hope you guys liked it I hope it gave you an idea to try this out even if you're not using a binder system for your December daily I'm having a lot of fun planning out different ways on decorating and sharing ideas with you guys. And if you want to keep seeing December daily layouts, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll keep filming them for you guys. I have lots of fun ideas for the new year as well, which I'm getting started on and I can't wait. So I hope you guys are ready. Talk to you in the next video, guys. Bye.